All right, it says we are live. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to catch up on the laptop. Oh, I think we got a play button. Oh, there we go. Uh, it used to just play on. I know, right? That's a new thing. Okay. <laughs> Look who I have in my craft room with me. Hi, guys. <laughs> Might want to hit mute. Um, I have the volume. Oh, you have it. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. I have the volume turned down. So. Okay. Different laptops, different. I put this up. This is like what we look like. Perfect. Got all the layout, all the. So there's the live view that's got the delay, and then there's the one that shows what's actually going on. So then we can see if we're a little off camera or anything. Hello, Hi, everybody. Friends. Yes, Hi. we're together. Yeah, at her house. <laughs> I'd say we love these combined lives, but they're way more fun when we get to. In fact, this is. I think this is the first like sneak peek live that we it is we've just done kind of standard lives together yeah. so this is the first one where we're both going to try to create a card together on the same work surface and while <laughs> leah tortured me at her house with me having to sit and craft when i'm used to crafting i'm torturing her today with standing it's weird so she's out of her element like i was there so it's the trade-off i do have a desk that she can sit at for other times but it doesn't work for the live so definitely not i'm making her stand <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. All right. Well, I see you all are joining us for our March release sneak peek. We're excited that you're here. I'm assuming you're probably pretty excited about today's giveaway as well. It's it's nothing big. It's not big at all. It's really that. small. I don't even know why you're here. <laughs> They're here for us, obviously. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we're giving away the entire March release, which we added up and calculated today. And that's a $417 value. So huge release today. 418. 418. Thank Two you. Pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am at Heather's house today. Yep. So and it's super sunny and beautiful in Washington. And it's really she warm in her time. house. <laughs> So that's why the curtains closed. You can see the sun shining through there, but we had to close that so that, and if she was going to wear a long sleeve sweater, I was like, you don't want no, to. No, I'm glad she, I'm glad she warned me. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking it's probably just going to be us. I'm, I hadn't heard, I don't know if we're going to have anybody um, commenting under the Pink Rush Studio name, except for when one of us is off camera. Yeah. We'll chat underneath the Pink Rush okay. Studio name. So. <laughs> I'll be yeah. ever paltry. I don't do have to give. <laughs> Hi, John. So as mentioned today, we're giving away the entire March release, not even available for purchase yet. It's a washi tape release this month. So um, it's, it's, a, a it's always a favorite, always super fun. We're going to showcase one of the washi tape product suites today in the live. So how to win? Do what you're doing now. Um, chat with us in the live chat. We will just randomly pick a winner um, at the end. Now you can gain an extra entry by sharing. So underneath this video, there's a little button. It has an arrow. It says share. Click on, click on it and you can share whatever works for you. You could share to your Facebook page, Instagram stories. Um, maybe you have like a crafty message or email that you share. Um, you can share it there. And finally, if there is a Facebook group that is like a crafting Facebook group and they allow it, um, Feel free to share there. Come back here. Let us know in the com in the comments that you shared. And it's an extra entry. Yep. And then I just hit it on there too under the pink fresh. But if you can hit the thumbs up, it doesn't count as an extra entry. But um, especially if you're enjoying, we just appreciate it. It helps the reach. Yeah. Helps more people find us. Um, and then the other thing is we didn't put anything in the video oh, description yeah. because I think we're using other than like glitter paper and, and glitter paper. Yeah. Nothing is released yet. Yeah. So everything, it does release next Monday. So it's not yeah. that long of a wait. We're not using you waiting. Not too much. Not too bad. You've got a little less than a week to wait you know, before everything goes live in our online shop. So yeah, I think we've covered almost everything. Um, craft along April craft along registration is still open. So if you want to come hang out with us on a Friday evening in April, we would love for you to register. It was um, in today's email. So if you got the email for today's live, it's right underneath the live information. We, didn't add it this we forgot to add it. We can, yeah. but, we can um, uh, or you can just find it under the events tab on our website. So pinkfreshstudio.com events. Yeah. And if you haven't joined those, it's a lot like it us crafting together, but we also get to see your face if you want. Yeah. Or you can just have your camera off and. Um, it's a great time if you have any special questions you want to ask. Yeah. <laughs> Beth, come to your house and craft. She'll give us both. Thank you, Beth. Chair. She won't give me I care. Actually, like to stand better. So you can skip the chair for me. You could you could sit and put your chin on the desk. There's there's a chair. Back there. 
but yes, we love, we love when we yeah, we do. you guys. And if you have any special questions you want to ask, we have a little bit of chat time before and after. Yeah, it's uh, fun. If you don't know how, Connie, all you have to do is click a link. We give you this yep. link and it does pretty much all the work for you. You don't have to really, I don't know if you even have to have a Zoom account. Probably. Maybe. I'm, I'm honestly, easy. I think it's pretty easy. It'll, it'll prompt you when you click on the link to do all of the things you need to do. So if you need to create a Zoom link, you can create a free Zoom account. You don't have to have a paid one. Um, and then it's really easy. So yeah, it's yep. super All right. Thanks, Jennifer. Hi, guys. All right. So I think we've I think we're good. Covered everything. Covered everything. Once again, if you're coming in late, um, there isn't a we're just I, at this point we're planning on moderating. Kinnery might pop in at some point. Yeah. If she does, it'll surprise us. So we yeah. don't know if she is or not, but we'll kind of take turns while we're on camera so that we're not like squishing up too bad to try and craft together. I mean, I really like her, but <laughs> and we did that at your house, but it was like one card that we were working together on. Yeah. Exactly. And we're both making two cards yeah. today. <laughs> Since we're using the washi, one of us is um Leah's gonna use the washi and I'm gonna use the stamp dice stencil. Yeah. Today, so all right, I go we'll switch the Let's camera switch. and then you're starting. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. All right, perfect. Yeah. So this is the Artsy Floral Washi Tape Product Suite. This is actually what we have. This is the namesake of the release. We've started naming our releases and we decided this one would be called Artsy Floral because it kind of, while it is the name of a product, it also kind of encompasses the entire release. Yep. Um, so if you are new to our washi tape products at all, they're typically a four-piece product suite. They have the wide washi tape, which has the full free illustrated panel on it. This one is gold foiled. I think all of them are gold, gold foiled this time around. And of course those are pre-illustrated. So every panel is going to be exactly the same. Um, there is about, I think in general, you get about 42, 40 to 42 panels. Just oh, kind of right. depends. It's over 40. Just kind of depends on where it's trimmed um, in the production process. So you have the washi tape. And then you have the other coordinating items. So there's the one piece die, which cuts out each element here. So it cuts out the pieces from the washi, the stamp and the stencil set um, all combined. Then of course you have the stamp set, which Heather is going to use today, which when combined with the stencils allows you to create and color the images as you see fit. So maybe you don't wanna use the colors that are on the washi tape. That's where the stamp and stencil comes into play. And you can create them in your own colors. Heather is letting me do the washi tape today since I am not used to crafting standing up. <laughs> so she's going to take on the ink blending and the hard stuff. Figured we won't make her like have to double duty with. Thank you. I appreciate it. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll out a panel and, um, oh God, that sticks. And um, die cut it so you can see how easy it is. Okay, and Elise just said she's yet to use up an entire roll. Same, same, totally out. same here. They last forever, so I totally agree with you on that. So, here is the panel. You can stick it to whatever. I'm just using our standard 100 pound hammer mill smooth white cardstock, and our washi tape is super forgiving, friends. So, even if you get a little air bubble or an air pocket in there, they actually smooth out really well. And keep in mind, we're actually going to cut away a lot of this. So um, even if you maybe got a part where like you creased it or something, you may end up cutting it away. So don't worry too much about how if you don't perfectly get it adhered down to your um, paper. So these do require, they're longer. So these do require a little bit larger plates. So we have some extended plates here. This is the fun sandwich that um, one of our, our crafting friends found for the Gemini Junior. It's actually three Sizzix extended cutting plates and then just a paper shim in the middle. Now, these are not Gemini endorsed products. <laughs> so if you have a Gemini that's still under warranty, I would proceed with caution. But if you don't, and we've never had any, we've never it. had any troubles, obviously, so but fun. Oh, sorry. No, no, it doesn't matter. You can, <laughs> I open them on the side so I can slide Gotcha, them. gotcha. <laughs> we do things differently. Yeah. It's fine. Erin says she wonders what this one would look like on black paper. Huh. I bet that would be really striking. I, I never have I have anything. never, ever thought of that, actually. It might be really pretty. I like it on vellum, and I've done yeah. that, like but I never thought about. I guess because I tend to craft a little lighter. Yeah. I don't really think about stuff like that. 
Suddenly but I bet you it's still, probably really pretty. Thought, while you do that, I'm just going to, now my, my brain is like, I have to know. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyway, so if you don't have extended plates for your machine, that's fine. I didn't for a while as well. And all I would do is I would kind of trim the washi in a fashion and I would just cut it at twice. I would just run it through twice. Um, doesn't hurt your dye if you're not cutting into paper. It'll be totally fine. So I'm going to take my time here. I'm going to line the dye up nice and centered on the images. It's a big dye, so take your time. And then you just want to also make sure that you tape it down nice and securely. Washi tape is a little slippery. Uh, the surface is a little slippery. And we don't want this to shift when it runs through the machine. So I am going to tape it down nice and securely. You'll notice in some areas I also taped it down directly to the plate. I think that helps it from also sh possibly shifting as well. All right, I am gonna run, take this over to the die cut machine and I'll be right back. And I'll show it on the black. Um, Teresa, this is the new Artsy Floral. It's releasing next Monday. And someone had asked how it would look on black cardstock. So just for fun, but actually it doesn't even look like I would have expected. Uh -huh. Like I thought it would have muted the colors. I know, maybe I'll cut it out when you're done with that real quick while you pop out your pieces. All right. Now we're curious. We are That's curious. We're experimenting. All right. So let's pull off our panel or excuse me, our tape here. And we'll look at all of these fantastic pieces that cut out once. I think it shifted on me a little bit, but that's okay. Okay. I think my plate's getting kind of warped. Yeah, it's a little warped. That's okay. It still is, did relatively well. There's the die. Right. And you can always cut it down into smaller. Exactly. Washi is slippery, so it can be a little. It is a little slippery. Anyway, for the most part, we got good, we got a good, I might not have taped it down well enough too. Could be on me. But there are all of our cute little pieces. And Heather is going to die cut it from that black so we can see what it looks like. But how beautiful are these pieces? They have that lovely gold foiling on them. And how easy is that? Now you have all of these beautiful flowers that you have just cut out that you can create really quick and easy cards with. So now Heather is going to show. Over and let you. Perfect. Okay. So let's see what this looks like. I don't know. I don't know if it's my very favorite. I don't know if it's my look. I don't know if it's my very favorite either. But but it was very fun to something to try and see. It's very dramatic. It definitely gives a very different. It is totally. Now that I think we'll side by side. Compare and contrast here. Yeah. Shortly. That so was let's a fun fun thing. Fun little test here. Side by side. So let's see, like, look at the difference. Like this one got very, the coloring yeah. got very dramatic and dark where this one stays that kind of nice, bright, yeah. true color. So definitely something you could play with. Yeah, that's really interesting. Huh. Right? Like I said, never would have crossed my mind. I would have never crossed my mind, but I'm glad we tried it out to see because it definitely gives a very dramatic, different look mm -hmm. underneath. Yeah. Cool. It's like tones down. You can do that. All kinds of different things. Like I said, one of my favorites is vellum. It keeps it yeah. translucent. It gives it more of a translucent translucent look. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, fun. Well, it's Heather's turn. I'm going to take over the desk here. So I just because we're doing a lot today and we have limited desk space, I cheated in yeah. advance. I went ahead and stamped this out. I just did it at an angle in my regular Misty. Um, I figured it was just, you guys have seen it's heat and bath. Yep. At least 10 million times. You can. Yeah. This was Perfect. That works. Okay. <laughs> so it fits right in a misty, and then I just did it at an angle. Then you don't have to use anything tricky to do that. So, um, but like I said, heat embossing is something you've seen a million one times. So I figured I would save a step, save a little bit of time, and keep us from going like forever over. Although I guess if we go over today, it's not even the end of the world. Anyway, matter. it's not yeah. like I mean, everyone wants to hang around to wait for the giveaway anyway, right? right? So, You're kind of on our time. I don't think we're gonna have anyone leave. <laughs> Stencils right there. Stencil. Perfect. Okay. Give me a second here to get combobulated again. So I wanted to pick something completely different than the set. And the, the mock-up has kind of a pretty, you know, the pinks on there are really pretty. But I thought, you know what? I think this would be really pretty with turquoises for the flowers. And then, of course, some yellow for the center and some deep greens. For the greenery and I'm going to blend even though some of these are really deep rich colors I'm not necessarily going to blend them super dark because you can get some some different color tones even with the dark colors just by blending them a little bit lighter than maybe so 
me get out my blending brushes. I'm going to do, I think I've used the darkest here. So I am going to do a quick little clean on here with a little spritz of rubbing alcohol. Sorry if I hit your arm with that. I'm fine. I'm trying okay. not to bug you. Nope, you're fine. We'll just cuddle. Yeah, we'll cuddle. cuddle. We cuddle. Let's snuggle. Let's snuggle. I was going to say it's like the card, the card word that we use all the time. <laughs> All right, let's get this first one taped down. And I just heat embossed this in basic gold. There was nothing, nothing fancy. And I'm just going to, I'm so used to like looking over at the comments. Sorry. Le no, no. Leah's right here next to me. So she can just tell me if there's anything I need to know or she can say it out loud. So, so if I pause and like start to go, oh, wait, I don't have to look. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's going on in my head. Oh, and then what did I? No. Oh, and what's not? And Louise was saying that she likes the stamp and stencil so she could change the outline color. Yes. Absolutely. That's yeah. A great, yeah, we love great reason variety. why we have all the different options. All right. So one quick, one thing I sometimes like to do when I'm using a bigger panel like this, just to help me line up the next stencil. I'll just grab a little color and put it on kind of some of those edges. Then when I put the next stencil down, it helps me line up that next one and I don't have to spend as much time. It's not really a big deal, but it's, it's just really one little, smart. takes a few seconds and... And it makes my life easier. And if you have a hard time lining them up, that yeah. is like a really, especially the ones that don't have like yes. the exact outline, kind of, kind of like the middles. Like the middles of these sure. have a little less to line up. So it is just kind of a little trick. That yeah, that's really that great. All right. So I'm going to start with turquoise. And like I said, I'm going to come in pretty soft with my color. And of course, like we love to do, blend deeper at the base of those to get a little bit of variation in there. So pretty. I love that turquoise. I love turquoise. And it's one I usually think of more for like the greenery. greenery. I know. So it was kind of fun to switch it up and go, oh, maybe I'll grab that for. So pretty. I also, we used to dab them on the glass mat all the time, but when you have a stencil with enough open area like this, I love just kind of dabbing a little bit of the ink off right on the stencil. And you don't have to worry about forgetting to clean that spot on your desk. Right. <laughs> Putting your arm in it, you know. <laughs> Not that I've ever done that before. We've got uh, Diane, who's never tried our washi tapes before. Oh. So, Diane, you're really going to want to check out our release on Monday because there are four different washi tapes coming out. So um, you may find one you absolutely love. Yes. I feel like our washi tape, one way that we get people hooked on it, a lot of times it's part of our events. Yeah. And people are like, yeah. no, I don't think I like washi tape. I don't want to. And then they fall in love with it. They get a whole class on it. And then yep. like, oh, maybe I do love washi tape. I always love that moment when in a I class. Or... The word washi tape, you think of those thin ones that are just the strips and kind of the old kind of style. Like the old style. Old school. But we take washi tape to a whole different level. <laughs> we do. Henry kind of came up with a whole new yep. design for that. And I also love like adding like this, the stamp. So you can have a die to cut it, but you're not spending a whole bunch of money on a die. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good there. I'm happy with that one. Looks pretty. So let's switch out. It's going to do a quick little, nothing too fancy there. And show off that That's first review. a smart idea. You know, it looks kind of messy now. I feel like it's kind of like all blobby and messy, but. Well, but that's when it's all said and done, it'll be cut it away. Yep. So now all I have to do is get all of that lined up on there. Take my time and get it. Put the pencil a little bit bigger. We love hearing that, Elizabeth. She said stencils make my cards look like a professional artist. We hear that a lot, and we love hearing that because everyone should get to feel like an artist. Right. I am not particularly good at coloring either. So um yeah, stencils definitely help that we love that for yeah. that reason and i'm still on the struggle bus trying to line this up if he's <laughs> asking are there sentiment dies for this washi stamp set there, there are. sure are <laughs> all of the scripty ones yep all of the bigger ones so basically the only of, one that doesn't yeah. have one is that little tiny guy yeah so most of them yes absolutely okay moving up to paradise we really should live closer together. I this know. is so much this more fun. So much more fun. <laughs> well, I'm moving to Montana. You know that. I know. <laughs> She's moving closer. So there probably will be a lot more times of us being closer together. Because I think we've discovered that it doesn't involve a flight. It's like a 10 hour drive. Yep. And I like road trips. So. And I think we can even get fairly, like, I think cheap. we can get direct cheap flights as well. So, yeah. On a smaller airline. Yeah. Yep. 
So that will work well too. It'll be awesome. Yep. You probably will see a lot more of us together like this. Right. You're, you're right. It does get warm in this room. Uh -huh. It's the big lights. I've I'm got these big I lights. I did not wear the little sweater. I, <laughs> I saved Leah's sanity right there. Okay. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. okay. It'll be pretty still. But a variation, right? Yeah. We'll just keep it darker there and then. Very pretty. I love these blues. So pretty. All right. I think we're calling it good. Ta -da! Look at how pretty those are. So, oh, those are pretty. Mm -hmm. I love those just rich dark tones. Okay. And then this is going to be one of those ones that is where those little, yeah, the little stencil or your little bolt. Your little ink blobs mm -hmm. help out, line it up. That is such a great idea. Yeah. I think the angle isn't as easy because it takes me a little more finicky. Yeah. But it still is good. A good uh, final solution there. I think. Just like those little teensy tiny details. There we go. I think we got it. All right. And then load fast. These sneak peek lives, we have a lot more people, a lot more comments. Yeah. So it's fun to Sorry. keep up. I'm like, I got a little quiet. So I'm trying to make sure I haven't missed anything. <laughs> I don't know if we said this at the beginning, but especially since we're both kind of moderating and crafting and doing it all together yeah if we miss a comment just leave it again yeah we're not yeah. ignoring you we're but not ignoring you but i'm sure we're missing things i we probably are and like i said the comments fly quicker on these yeah. sneak peeks so i just see leah scrolling back like did i miss anything <laughs> <laughs> all right this one was pretty easy because there wasn't a lot to do in there Ah, oh, I love that that dark, dark color. That is so this pretty. So oh, a little bit of Atlantis. Mm -hmm. So pretty. That's a little tidbit of. Well, thanks for joining us for a bit, Cheryl. We're excited you were here. Of course, this will all be available when we play. Um, if you want to catch up afterwards when we're done. Yep. All right. These are the flower centers. So this one's a pretty easy to line up on. Oh, the yellow center, and these this are going to pop. We went nice and gold yellow. Um, Ruth, I don't know exactly when things that sold out last month will restock, but I think when Kennery replies to people, she says about four to five weeks, but you just kind of never know. Sometimes shipping can go awry. So, but rest assured they are um, reordered. So your best bet is to sign up for a restock notification on the products you're wanting to get. And That's then the when they way. are restocked um, on our website, uh, our website will send out an email to you. And you know, as I'm doing, especially since I didn't list ink colors anyway, I think I'm going to add a little pop of Mary Gold on some of these mm, too. Yeah, give it a little bit of a little creation. Extra. Mm -hmm. a little extra, extra. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sweet mustard is pretty lovely as it is. But Absolutely. We're just going to bump it up a little extra. Um, I have I've had quite a few people ask me about Montana. So I'm just going to yep. blanket answer. Um, so I am from Montana, so we're moving back home. Yay. Excited for that. Um, we're moving next year in 2025. We have purchased our land. So we're just kind of in savings mode. And then we will be moving kind of central Montana. We're moving to a small town. That's just a little outside of Butte, Montana, which is about right smack in the middle of the state. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I did uh, how many stencils are in this set? Five? Six. Is it six? Six. Six. Because there's three for the flowers, one for the center, two for the green. Perfect. There we go. Yep. Six in this one. I did like mentally go through the list and then I'm like, it says on the package. I yeah, can just look does. on the package. <laughs> <laughs> for like the. Uh, uh, uh. All right. All right. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I love a little bit of gradation. Yep. The, the marigold, marigold was, was a good ad. That was a good call. <laughs> Oh, Susie, absolutely. Go Grizz. I was a Grizzly cheerleader when I for two years when I was in college. <laughs> So definitely go Grizz. 
some random guy at the airport when I picked her up tried to shame her for not knowing about the basketball, basketball score. score. Like, well, and he's like, you're a cheerleader. I'm like, look at me. I was a cheerleader 20 some odd years ago. <laughs> not currently. And he's like, you should know. Shame on you. We were both looking at each other like, uh, uh no. <laughs> if, it, if, it, if it were football season, I would know. I'm not much on basketball. Yeah. So kind of a different, okay. Spruce tips. Perfect. And let's oh, Kathy, the name of this set is Artsy Floral. Oh, that green is just going to pop. Ooh, pretty. This is where we're really hitting that gradation again, too, because especially with the name, like the washi on this has such like that artsy look that I love adding. Absolutely. Um. Marcia or Marcia, I'm not exactly sure how you say your name. I'm moving about an hour and a half where I'm originally from. I'm originally from Missoula, Montana, um, but we are moving a little, well, we're moving to where my mom lives um, and to a smaller community that's closest to the lake that I really love. So we didn't want to live back in Missoula as much as we love it. It's grown a lot and it's very busy because there's not a lot of room to grow. So <laughs> the streets it's just crazy driving in there so we'll of course go back and forth and go to Grizz games and shop a little bit here and there but we wanted to live in a little bit more quiet rural. probably be like the nearest Costco and yep, some of that exactly. kind of stuff. yep exactly <laughs> I know about that we lived in Wyoming for a couple of years and our nearest Costco was four hours oh away. goodness that's a long ways away <laughs> yeah yep small town Small town. It's a trade-off. You have to trade drive off. a long way to get exactly. stuff, but you get the the benefit. That thankfully we're only about thirty minutes away from some larger things, but there's not a Costco or a Target, so those are about an hour and a half away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think we're good there. I like that. Hey. Uh, Debbie's asking how many sets are going to be released. So there's four, four washi. washi. Mm -hmm. There's one non-washi product suite. And then a couple of little extras. Stack those together. One thing I saw someone at the beginning say something about they were part of the scrapbook event. If you are doing the scrapbook event this coming weekend, Mark. if you look close, you might recognize this set because this is actually part of that event. It is. So you might actually have your hands on this one already if you are doing that. Just, I know sometimes out of context, it's hard oh, to recognize and notice that. And so, smart. yeah, that is smart. So, if you are signed up for the scrapbooking event, you already have this product suite. <laughs> you have a little bit of an mm -hmm. advantage. Okay. Yes. All right. I think we're good so far. Okay. Lush Forest. This is our last one. I told you I stencil fast. She does. <laughs> it's only 10 30. We're doing good. We are. Yeah, 10 30 here. Yeah. Yep. We're getting the whole, I guess, learning my. My life of yeah because we run everything on <laughs> central time which leah already is in central time and that's where pink fresh kind of runs on and i'm on pacific and so it takes me a little more i just have to think live is at noon nope it's at 10. <laughs> katie is asking if we will be at simon's stamp create and we, we sure will oh, yeah that'll be our next time we get to see each other yeah. in person which is not too far away mm -hmm. Um, Connie's asking if there are any other dyes in the new release. There's one standalone dye set, which we will be featuring here. Yeah, you'll get to see that in just yep. a minute here. As soon as I finish this, Leo yep. will take over and. I should get. Yep. Time to get ready for the next thing. Yeah. Because huh? I can die cut this while you lay out that yeah. to die cut. Yep. And then, yeah. Okay. Final magic reveal. And how much of my junk out of the way, too? That tape and this and this one use it. All right, ready? Ready for the final reveal? Oh my god! Oh, that's so pretty. It's beautiful. Love it. That is gorgeous. That's so pretty. Um, that. Amy, there are there are no press plates in this release. No, this is this is more focused on the washi. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna slide a little bit out of the way and I'll get all right. This. I'm gonna show you guys the. Uh, other die set. Well, so if you were part of our February, oh, thank you. If you were part of our February Create and Connect event, um, you have this. This is our one of our newest essentials dies. This is the notched corner frames die set. It's eight pieces. It has the so the dies and the um decorative edge, I guess would be the right term for that, 
are all in separate pieces. So it really makes this set versatile. <laughs> yeah, no, no worries. We'll just like um, it allows you to just add the decorative edge. You can just cut the notched corner. You can use the dies together to make frames, which we've done. We're going to do a little bit of both today. So first thing I'm going to take just the largest, um, did that like the decorative part and directly on my card base, I'm just going to add a nice little decorative element to it. So while Heather is that cutting her washi or her floral pieces out, they aren't technically washi tape. I keep kind of get stuck on yeah. saying washi tape because it's what this release is. Yeah. But I don't think we're creating the little decorative piece. I don't think I need the bubble mailer technique, but we will feature that when I go to cut it out of some glitter paper. I am just trying to line up this decorative edge here, nice and centered, because I am doing this directly to my card front. Here. I probably missed a Perfect. few. I, I can kind of center over. now that you're over here a little mm -hmm. bit. And I'll show off those when you go to it. Perfect. And I feel like that got a little out of alignment. There we go. Okay, that should be good. I'm going to pop over to the machine and do this. And Heather will show off her pieces. And I saw one question about what kind of embossing powder. It was, I'm pretty sure on that one, it was just Simon Says. Um, detail gold, nothing too particularly fancy. Uh, there's a wall there. <laughs> there's a wall. All right. I think I got, I'll deal with that in a minute, but here's all of these beautiful, I can see what I'm doing. There we go. So there's all of our beautiful, look how different that looks from the washi pieces. Like this is the exact same arrangements and florals. There we go. Don't you oh love that? Gosh. Like a completely different look. So many different options. Love that. All right. Just checking the comments. Cool. Okay. All right. Oh. I will move these off of the way here for now. Write okay. them out. Mm. All right. So let's see here. Let's take a look at how this decorative edge. So look at how fun that just added a nice little detail to the edge of my card base there. I did it directly to the front. It's really awesome. So now we're going to clean a little bit. Yeah. Someone asked about the low tack tape. We have two different kinds. This is oh, mint the tape. tape from scrapbook.com. And then I also have this one that I pull on a lot. Post it tape. Just there's so many options. There's so many options out there. You can really use anything. All right. So we have a piece of bl our blush glitter cardstock. Now I have a bubble mailer. When I'm using multiple dies like this that are a little bit intricate and have those details and something like glitter paper. I like to do the bubble mailer technique because it adds a little bit of pressure to the die cut machine to kind of get those impression of that detail in there a little bit better. Henry must have just popped in. Oh, like, there she is. Just in <laughs> name and that's not me. <laughs> Hi, Kennery. So I'm going to stop commenting to avoid confusion. We'll Perfect. just say things out loud and let Kennery pop in. Yeah. So I'm just going to get these nice and arranged here so that they are nice and even. Take my time doing that. And then I'll tape them together. Uh, 727 Elizabeth, a supply list. So we will add the ink colors and the glitter paper that we used. Um, the rest of it is a new release that releases Monday. So we can add that after the release on Monday. But, yeah. Um, all the stamp die stencils, everything that we're using um, don't technically release until. Okay. I'm going to go run this over and cut it out and you'll see how beautiful it is when I return. Teresa, the bubbles, they do pop a little bit going through the die cut machine. You can giggle like a school girl. Yeah, I was going to say, Leah says we can giggle like a school girl. <laughs> this one didn't pop as much, but sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. At the end, it did it. <laughs> there it goes. Yep. You probably can't hear it on there. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at how pretty these frames turn out with all of the fun details. And some of this I did in advance. So that yeah. Maybe. That it really stuck on there. <laughs> there we go. Got it. So look at how pretty that turned out. And you've got the nice little details in there. Turned out super pretty. Beautiful. All right. So we can save all those other pieces. Yeah. Yep. Or at least the I'll save the bigger chunk. 
And okay. I did the same thing. Allure. I have a top folding card base. Hers is just side folding. Yeah. And then I pre-did mine from Ivory Glitter Stock uh, card. Blah, 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 Ivory Glitter card stock. And then I did a soft aqua blue kind of panel to tuck behind. And I, you might see I already have some shiny acid on here. We decided to both do shaker cards. Yeah, they're just going to be a little different shaker cards. I still have to build mine. Yeah. So I'm going to let her do that. But I figured yeah. we didn't have to both do the same thing. You didn't want to watch us both one at a time do it. I think Absolutely. Right now, right? We are. Right? Yeah. yeah yep. We sure are. So I went ahead. Hopefully you can see it. I can find some glare. I went ahead and die cut one of those acetate panels just from the uh, die without the decoration. So then it matches my um, frame perfectly for creating my little shaker element. I realize I still need to build so often. Yeah. So I'll start in that template. So this is just some double-sided score tape that I'm going to use to create my, help create my shaker window. This is really good tape for adhering down acetate to things. So that is what I'm gonna do here. It's quiet now. I know, we're both <laughs> focus mode. Focus, we're both crafting. Let's see how do I'm trying to figure out now how to do. Um, Mom Full of Joy is asking, where do you get the mint tape? The mint tape is from scrapbook.com. Yeah, they have it in all kinds of sizes. I want to do that. All right, so there's that. I had to figure out that corner, like how I was going to fit that together. Okay. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I know. I could have just done a single layer, but yeah, kind of on the mode already. Of yeah. But I think I can piece it together okay without. Just had a little bit of a brain bender there for a second. Mm. Yes, concentrating. Mm -hmm. that right there. Susie. Right. Mm -hmm. Now that those. Thank you. Closer. Okay. And I have to concentrate on this so I get it. <laughs> That right I understand. on the on the nose. So if my hair gets in the camera, I'm sorry, friends. I think I managed to not do it with my hair in there. Perfect. All right. So I got my little shaker window. That's the one thing about standing. It's a little bit true. Different. You don't you don't get as much of your hair. <laughs> yep. In could I use the foam tape as yeah. well? No, no, it's all my oh, loud. loud. I'm gonna You're be all soft. Uh, you know what? I got a little bit. It got a little off. I'll just trim it. Yep. I had to do the same. Go ahead and trim that a little bit off there. So if you ever have the same thing happen and a little bit sticking out, one, it's acetate, it's clear. People probably aren't even gonna see it, but you can always trim it off too. One way or the other. <laughs> Glad you're joining us late. I think it's Mary. Yeah. It's all turn. Yeah. Glad you're here. No worries about being late. If you want to watch the beginning, it will be available for replay right after we end. Absolutely. Always. All right. I wanted to double layer it too, so I'm going to have kind of the same thing you are. Yeah. Oops. That's loud. I might, I might actually do it uh, as I go. I think that might be a little easier for me. Yeah, I can decide which way is easier. So I'm kind of off. I'm learning right from here. your, I'm learning from you. <laughs> If I can't be a good good example, I just have to be a horrible warning. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> For once, that's you, not me. <laughs> right? It's okay. We can learn from our own mistakes or someone else's. Exactly. So, I don't think mine really shows how I'm just sitting here fiddling with it off camera. But I think I got it now. You're, you're kind of down there in the corner. Yeah. It's there. A little bit of it. A little bit. Anyone can see that. Yeah. Part of it. It's probably because I'm like taking over the whole area here it's all right we don't have imagine, to both show the imagine thing. that <laughs> all right, oh that stuck to my finger we are going to show you guys an, uh, one more thing yeah. one more thing too one more new thing after this heard why we did a shaker yep if that gives you a hint that gives you any kind of hints all right this is where it's going to be kind of Kind of fidgety here. Here we go. I think I got it. Okay. 
And the great thing about these is if you have any little area that you think your shaker mix might come out of, if you just use your little metal tip glue and squeeze some glue in there, it'll dry and then the things won't fall out. I always forget that little check. It's mm -hmm. good. I don't, because I don't think the shaker mix will even be able to fall out of these Probably ones. Um, I think we're good. So we're just applying a little bit of, um, what is this powder? Powder. Antistatic powder just to the sides of that foam in hopes that the, the little mix that we're won't doing stick. won't stick. Right. I'm oh, yeah. that. I forgot I wanted to kind of ink blend the edges of my card base. Right. You should do that. I'm going to do that really quickly. Okay. And then while you do that, since I've got the glue on here now and I kind of need to move forward, I'm going to show off what we're going to use to make our shaker card. Okay. If you card. join the February card event, you're going to be excited that we're going to have these fully released so you can buy more because they are so perfect for shaker cards. I need like, I need many of them. And I know in the future they are coming in more colors. I heard Kennedy say that to something else. Oh, so. okay. Perfect. I didn't know that. Leah's like, wait, shh, shh, what are you saying? <laughs> wait, what? She answered on the last. So I know that someone else had asked and she said. So these right here are just clear with gold dust and they're teensy, teensy, tiny. They're really pretty to put on things, but they're absolutely perfect for shaker beds. Oh, and that's got really bad static this morning. Oh, yes, it Hold does. On. I'm going to check the other package. Okay. I'm just going to ink blend my card base while she checks the this other package. Better. I wonder if that one sat in the sun and got maybe this one's not as bad. So, oh yeah, that one got real static. -y. It's okay. I think it got warm in the sun and that might have made it worse. Gotcha. So. I just wanted to have a little bit of color on my card, but I didn't really want to use like a colored card base. So I'm just ink blending the edges with a little bit of begonia ink because it matches those flowers in the washi tape really well. And then I've got my pre-cut panel in the blue. So we're going to start. That. Oh, you're okay. Smacked you. That's what we're going to see if we see the back of my head. Fortunately, that <laughs> liquid glue will give us a tiny second of wiggle room. Yes. Okay. We got it good. Ta-da! Oh, okay. that is. All right. I think that's good. Yeah. And they're the perfect size for shakers like that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're so cute. cute. Oh, my goodness. Gonna and I'm going to do my shaker a little different. So you're going to get to see. I'm going to put mine direct, direct on the card. Yep. So you get to see a couple of different ways to use them as a shaker. Yeah. I it's wanted to put that blue behind there. So then we can start. I know that you do your shaker building. Perfect. I'm going to tape mine down since that's I'm so going cool. direct a card here. I will just get this shape on. Or actually, I think I need to slightly glue it on. Okay. And so I know I'm going to do that there. Okay. All right. You can kind of do what you want because I still have to get all of the little okay. pieces off here, all the little release paper pieces. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. So, okay. This part we can kind of fit on here together now, like yeah. arranging our florals. We're not doing like a bunch of stuff that takes extra. And I just glued this directly on because I've already got the shaker element. So I've already got the dimension from that. So I'm trying not to get my fingerprints all over the acetate. <laughs> hard. <laughs> and then I'll just sit here while you do that and I'll kind of loop up my floral pieces. Right, thank you. And we're done with this. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me get a little piece of out of here. Get some trash off our. Right. <clears throat> The We're doing great. For We're doing pretty perfect. good. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shake some of the mix just directly to the bottom of the card or to the card base. I'm just going to spread it out, make sure I might do a little more. All right. I think we're going to call that good. And then I'm just going to go ahead and center this over top as best I can. Try to make sure it's not super crooked like that. And then look, so you can do ones like Heather's where she made the shaker element separate, or you can just go direct to card base as well. Yes. I literally things. only did that because I wanted the blue behind that. I didn't want the whole card yep. base, but, <laughs> but it does, it is actually in some ways it's easier. So if, even if you want to do that, sometimes that step kind of makes it easier to line it up from the back because you can fill your shaker yep, and then for sure. put it where you want. So. I love both tricks. Close that so we don't have a little bit of trash in. Okay. Then okay, flowers. Now Let's we see. need to start embellishing. Let me pull out all the washi pieces here. Oh, we have to pick our sentiments too. Do we want to pick oh, our sentiments Oh, yeah, first? let's do that. Well, oh I might actually Can kind we... of arrange a little bit first and then find a sentiment that kind True. of fits. That fits with. Yeah, I know. That's the... Oh, I kind of like those florals layered together. That's pretty. I hate covering anything up with that. 
I know, right? It's always the worst part is when you start covering things up. It's like, no, I don't think I'm going to use the big guy on this card. I think I'm going to stick with a little smaller pieces. Today, let's see. I don't want to overdo the other side. I like that. Okay, with going a little bit over the edges of the card, but not too much. No? Yeah. That's a cute piece. I actually tucked in here. That's pretty. Before we get all fiddly. I know. What do we want to do? Actually, maybe like that. That kind of frames that sense. That's good. And maybe. I can tuck more in, but I feel like I'm starting to get starting. Like, you're just kind of starting to tuck things to tuck things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like if I start putting more, it just starts coming. I kind of feel like I'm doing the same thing here. Mm -hmm. Now, like that might just be a little much. I know. If you yeah. put too much, then you can't see the frame. And you can't and see the, the shaker, shaker, and we still have to put a sentiment. So we could tuck them on the inside some. Or... Yeah, I think I'm going to call that good. We have a couple of little extra pieces to make. But on a different card. Hey, we both used. Did we? Some different. Oh, good. So yeah, we both so did the only one we did was that. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. That's okay, though. That's a mush. Right, now we got the round. Yeah. Mm, I kind of like that one. I don't know. Which one? I kind of like, like that okay. one, I think. But let's see. Let me see. My, I have a little bit bigger area. So I'm not so stinking. able to. Ooh, I like that one. Okay, perfect. <laughs> we found it. That's so we got my little one. Okay. I'm gonna glue my flowers down while you That's stamp your sentiment. I like that. Okay. I'm saying we can almost stamp them both at the same time. Oh yeah, cards. that will work. And then I've got my little die cut machine, so I'll just perfect. stamp them both while you. That'll be great. And start. I'll start gluing. And then I we know I'm just die cut or something. <laughs> well, and then we still have to die cut all of our layers and everything too. So That's true. We've got we've got things we've got things to do. We do. Um, yep, that'll work right there. I'm just going to go ahead and glue these down with a little bit of liquid glue. It's my big detail black. Since oh, smart. I did have the little power here. Yeah. I just realized since I'm using the two of them together and I did well. Yeah. Okay. And as always, you know, this is the thing we always say with these dainty, cute sentiments. Stamp gently multiple times because they've got all those little dainty loops and thin lines and if you stamp too hard it kind of smooshes out and you lose the detail yeah I think one of these times we should just do it to show like the to show how how what happens when you smoosh it mm -hmm. and that actually stamped really good in two I'm gonna do nice. one. just because we can perfect oh well, that, that was so long <laughs> up that that's kind of went over long <laughs> i almost ended up showing how badly it could look <laughs> oh those look great those are beautiful all right Okay, and find my where did I put my you got the no that's okay here it is it's over here it's good okay it's a great nice stamp off gotcha yeah I must I was using it yesterday huh yep I just forgot about that so I was like where did all right go? I am gonna let my liquid glue set a little bit so when you're done with that I can go ahead and die cut those if you want me okay. to okay. You glue yours glue. yep here's the well oh, thank you well, it's got little little scraps that we can use to cut Perfect. layers for the sentiment. I really want to do that. I'll move this off a little bit so you guys can watch the die cutting here. Yep. Um, which is which? Cut into B? Um, no, cut into A. That's I just changed out my plate finally because it's starting to not. Oh, okay, got it. Perfect. It doesn't have the A on it. I don't know why that package came without it. But Mine saying. don't have letters. So no? that yeah. Oh, so that must have been like maybe a. I think it was an old, an old thing maybe. You know where the bottom of the. Damn. The backing of this. Yeah. It's clear, so it's kind of ridiculous. Hmm. Oh, here. Did it fall in the ground? It's a mystery right now. Right. We'll find it. We'll, we'll deal with that in a minute. <laughs> I'm like, I know I've had it, but I'm like, I remember. It's not on any of this. We'll find it. Yeah. Make sure, though. Make sure I didn't throw it away real quick. Nope. No. It's okay. not in the trash, so. It's somewhere floating around here. We'll find it. All right. So oh, there... oh, wait, wait, wait. It was under my laptop. I got okay. it. <laughs> like, I know I felt it there a minute ago, so it couldn't have gone far. So both of these sentiments have dyes. So yay for that. Move that. Yes, yeah, you can move that out of the way. Oh. And I can get on here and do my... And I will get these cut out. Are we doing good on comments over there? Yep. Can I can't really see. Kenny's on there now, so I'm kind oh, of Oh, perfect. Like... 
I'm kind of focusing on getting our cards done. Yeah. So if there's anything we need to answer, we'll kind of ask at the end if you guys yeah. need to ask it again, because I don't want to say we're ignoring you, but we're ignoring you. We're paying close attention to our cards. Heather. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to make happy and see it. I'm going to do this little extra dimension for the one I'm layering over the top there. So that's, I mean, you never have too much dimension, right? Never. We've already why got you, some by... That's just why you buy the little extra. Right? Oh, that looks, look at how pretty oh, that looks pretty. with the extra dimension I love there. That. That's perfect. All right, then I'll do the same up on that corner, I think. And we'll stick a little liquid glue on this one. Then we'll get there a little we'll extra see. variation in the dimension. And this through. Yours, yours kind of spins a little easier than mine does. I think I need new plates too. Maybe do. I just finally pulled. I don't think I've even cut into them yet. They're fresh new plates. I'm getting to use the un, untouched. unused, untouched plates, huh? Yep. Um, the elements used, I sent in a glance over elements for a shaker card. So clear acetate and foam adhesive. Um, you can rewatch. It'll probably help kind of explain it if you mm -hmm. watch how it comes together. Um, that's probably the best way to. And I I put the whole thing together on yes. my card. So yep. you should be able to yeah. um, see the whole thing. I need to cut a little bit off. That's me can't, can't fit two of them on there. Can't fit. Yep. Mm -hmm. There we go. They've got lots, you know, where my scraps yeah. are. Yeah, you can see them. So I might be able to see too. I just couldn't fit the sheet in there. Yeah, it was too it was big. Too wide. Mm -hmm. Yep, that should be fine. Perfect. Okay. Oops. Once you get that out, I'm going to trim off the side of it. Thank you. It's ready for you. Perfect. I think that one's yours. Yeah. Oh, that one did not cut very well. Oh, can you quite, huh? Yeah. Here, I'll see if I can, I can fiddle it out since they have one. And I'll just grab some scraps of bubble wrap because I have them and, oh, that actually, it came out okay. It was just kind of stuck. It was just kind of stuck. Okay. Yeah. This piece is too small. Sure. I'm going to turn the plates over. That may be oh, will help a little. Thanks. Is it a little too small? Yeah, it more? just, a little. It's okay. I've got lots more scrap. Small. Here. Oh, wait. Let me do it. Here we go. Got it? Okay. I think. I have more scraps. So if it doesn't like turn out, we can just do it again. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Maybe I'll run it back and forth. So that I'm, might help too. Yeah. These are kind of dainty details. These are pretty little bitty. So there's that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's hot in here. <laughs> I'm going to have to like air out. <laughs> It's like the double whammy of the sun is out. Yeah. Yeah. So when it gets in the summer, then it gets really hot. And here under these lights, the sun shining in, Ooh. I have to have a little fan off on the side blowing. Like I don't have the big lights in my room. Uh-oh. That one still did it not. It was too much off the side, I think. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think you ran it all the way through before you reversed it. Yep. That's probably what happened. Yep. Okay. Well, you do that. You do that. I'll just run yep. this through again real quick. But when I have the fan pointing on me, I always have to be careful. Remember if I start heat embossing? But I oh, in the fan so I don't get the poop. So you don't there. have stuff everywhere. Mm -hmm. Embossing powder in your face. Not fun. Oh, so fun. Not fun. Yeah, it was just I didn't run it too far enough. Got it. Nice easy fix. And then here's the glue if you need some of that. Here. It's okay. Toss that. Put this off to the side here. Side way. All right. Okay. I'm sure we'll do this and then we should be back. Fine. Well, I think we're we're doing really good. pretty good. I think we have quite a bit of time left, actually. Seven minutes, but yeah. we're we don't really have a lot left to do. Mm -hmm. okay. where, you know what? I'm almost starting to ponder like where you want to put it in there. I don't know. I think it's still advanced just a little bit. Maybe even centered. I was kind of playing off to the side, but I think I like it a little more centered. And I think even with those layers, I think I'm, I'm like going to as well. Foam tape. Yep. I know. We're both like more dimension, more dimension. <laughs> I was looking at it. I'm like, I mean, I like the little, but I think I got to add a little. It needs a little size. It needs a little extra dimension. I mean, it doesn't need, but it's. Nice. I want it to have a little we more extra it. dimension. <laughs> <laughs> so 
obviously, if you recreate these parts, we like the dimension. You can always do less. Of course. Because I know it doesn't make them as easy to man over or anything, but oh, let's get this in here so this doesn't clog. Thank you. You know, this is like the most side by side greeting you've ever seen us do, right? Uh -huh. yeah, just need... Yep. Just ever so slightly chewing that down. It's... Okay. That should be pulling off. Yeah. This little guy is pretty stubborn. It's too little. There we go. <laughs> You can never have too much fun, Leanne. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. All right. All right. Let's see here. Got a little, let me make sure I have this the right way. Are you okay? okay. Oh, and I took it off. Dang it. It's stuck to your finger. Stuck to my finger. <laughs> wanted to stay with you. <laughs> it just wanted to be with me. I'm going to put that just so it slightly overlaps that flower there. Okay. I'm going to snuggle it in here. Snuggle it. We're snuggling. Sure, it doesn't look totally perfect. This is a dimensional card, you guys. All right, I'm gonna take off my little tape bits here. I might check some of the actually, no, one of those frames on the inside would make a really pretty, yeah, color, right? And then a little pretty on the inside. My, my <laughs> shaker bits are getting a little stuck, but that's okay. I must have needed another layer of foam, maybe. But I wonder too, I think sometimes putting it that extra layer behind makes it more stable. Uh -huh. So when the card bends a little bit, so. Smart. If you'd like flex the card a little bit, if that'll kind of loosen it up. It's fine. It's, it's, enough. Enough. it's not bad. It's still fun. Yeah. All right. Perfect. I think we have written down April 1st for the hot foil event, but sometime around that week. I don't know exactly. It's in the first part of April. Yeah. For registration for hot foil. All right. All right, friends. Thanks for a hard. Totally different look. And let's go and switch the camera around. And I'm assuming, Kinnery, would you like to pick the winner of the full release today, or do you want one of us to do that? Just let us know in the comments. Yep. We'll just wait and see. I bet she's going to pick it, but yeah, just in case we can, one of us can hop over and do that. Absolutely. I know. Super fun. We spend a whole time at the... I didn't even realize, look how perfectly my match is what I'm wearing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it does. And I did I'm not sign that. I'm wearing cream, so it matches with everything. It matches everything. <laughs> Yours matches mine too. Exactly. I, I match them. I match them both. <laughs> All right. I'm assuming she's going right, to pick yeah. the winner. So, so I think McKinnery is going to pick the winner today. And you know what? Much to our surprise, we made it. We made it in we time. time. Holy cow. We were like, we're probably going to go over. Yeah. But All right. This winner, you guys, you get <gasps> the full release, which is four washi sweets, that dye, that little shaker bling, mm -hmm. and the berries one, and blossoms. And the berries and blossoms product suite that we is. haven't shown yet. Yeah. I mean, it was part of the event. It's part of an event. So, <laughs> Mary. Mary G. Clow. 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 However, if we said right, congratulations. <laughs> you know who you are. I love that spelling of the name Mary, too. Me, too. That's really sweet. It makes me happy. So, congratulations. So, you have won the entire March release. So, Kinnery gave you, I think she gave you the information. Yeah, but um, uh, all you have to do is email me. My email is leah at pinkfarstudio.com. There's no H on the end of my name. So, it's just L E A at pinkfarstudio.com. Send me an email. If you can remember to send along your shipping address and your phone number, uh, we will get that uh, prize out to you soon. Yep. So congratulations, Mary. <laughs> and Nicole, I will say real quick, she said, blow this mind that we can create beautiful projects in less than an hour. We spent a good hour before we prepping what we were doing. for an so. hour, kind of figuring out what we were going to do. So um, mm -hmm. keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah. I always feel like I have to explain that. Like we didn't just sit down. And we did a little no pre-work as well. So yeah. we did some die cutting. And so you have to keep that in mind. And Cheryl, thank you. Thanks, <laughs> friends. And I did see that Mary saw that she was the winner. So congratulations. Perfect. All right. So I think that's all the lives we have this week, yep. right? Yep. So um, that was us for the week. We will see you next Tuesday. Yeah. I think she will. I think it'll be me. <laughs> Back in my craft room all alone. Yep. See, see my craft room. Saturday. I know. That's okay. But we get to see each other in May. In May. In May. Yep. All right. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching on replay, um, we hope you like a look at our upcoming March release.
Bye guys. Thank you for joining us. Bye.